called The Hive. Um, it's a village um, which is called Rosario. Um, it's in central Portugal. Um, it's on Google Maps, I believe. Uh, it's a project of um, based around permaculture and sustainability, uh, low carbon use, and uh, involving people um, as volunteers in you know the decision making process, but mainly in the moving the project on. You know, um, rebuilding the village, or growing our own food, or um, you know, making paths. There's lots and lots of jobs here at the Hive. I'm here to volunteer and help a little bit and uh, to learn about permaculture also. Permaculture is, in this context, it's a system of growing, but the idea of permaculture is creating a sustainable way of living. There's a number of philosophies attached to it, but basically it's all about sustainability. And here, you can see, I guess the main thing is about reuse. So everything's being reused. The soil is growing in is the soil that was here and using compost from the area. And the beds have been created using old stone from the old buildings, etc. If you look down here, you see a way of using water, which much is much more efficient. So they've put a trench on the upper slope of where the plants are, and you put the water in there. Instead of watering from the top, the plants' the roots are going down, which means they're a lot stronger, particularly in an area like this, which is very hot. We've got some cabbages, we've got some leeks, we've got some courgettes, we've got tomatoes, some different herbs down there, some sages and oreganos, marjorams. Um, and then you can see there's a kiwi fruit that's just been put up, work, been worked on there with the olive trees behind it. Lots of different things and broad beans and strawberries and salads. So lots and lots and lots of different vegetables. It's a nice, peaceful place to calm down a little bit and uh, yeah, it's nice for me. For one week I'm staying and uh, it's a good break from city life. And there's the river where you can swim, so if you can enjoy yourself then it's nice to be here. We use um, the solar panels we have here and we have a renewable energy system which is more than enough. It covers the use of computers and charging phones and batteries and music and, and most of the things we want to do we can get from the renewables. There's plenty of power in this country. Brilliant. And what about the water supply? The water supply is from a water mine which is about 100 metres above us uh, up in the valley. Uh, we're the only people taking the water and it's all the water we use for the whole gardens, you know. Um, in the summer we have um, the water running all the time, we need to. My name is Laura and this is The Hive and I come up here every week on a Tuesday to run uh, yoga courses. Neck, straight, exhale. And looking up, and stretch, really just try and straighten the arms if you can and look up. And exhale, just fold. Okay, so straight, head to knee. Well, we've got a, a, a project, I don't know, about half an hour, 40 minute drive from here. Um, and it's fabulous to have projects like the Hive so close to us um, in terms of the social aspect of, of permaculture, of being self-reliant is, is so important. And it's, it's brilliant to have somewhere like this that we can come and in, indeed Ray and the people from the Hive can come to us as well to share ideas and to, Today, for instance, we've done a yoga session um, to do all those sort of things that you can't necessarily do on your own. I don't think you can, you can't overestimate the, the, the importance of having people with similar ideas close to hand. Yeah, so, there's, is there, so there's several communities in this area of Portugal? There's a, there's a yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of, um, there's quite a lot of people going from sort of fairly large projects like the Hive to just families um, within the local area. Um, I suppose within an hour's drive of here, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of people with similar, similar ideas and ideals. Bees are important for not just fertilizing flowers, but maintaining diversity because they're taking genes from one flower to another flower. Okay, so it's, it's, it's part of a whole it's fundamental to, to plant existence 
and because of that it's fundamental to our food source, our food sources. Um, and if there's a threat to the bees, there's a threat to us. How can people help and get involved? They can get involved by um, looking at um, the crowdfunding application we have called Be Happy, about um, producing um, honey <coughs> and having bees for the use of um, doing introductory courses and um, practical beekeeping. So that they can be involved in donating money to the project in that way. Or they can come to the project at the time when we need um, uh, volunteers, provided they have the skills we need at the time, you know. So most of it, well almost everything we do is with volunteers. So they could um, write to us um, on the website and let us know what they're interested in and what they're good at. And um, they can come and visit and get involved.